Hello and welcome to Medis Tactical. Here another video about the One UI. The most appreciated feature of everyone is, I think, the dark mode. So yeah, you know, in Oreo we had always this this white eyes burning mode or style. Let's say design. But now in One UI you have something called night mode. You can see we have a quick toggle for this, but we can also go into these settings and then under display, under night mode and boom. Here it says use a darker theme to keep your eyes comfortable at night. Night mode only affects Samsung apps. So you can see also an animation here. Yeah, that's nice. Here you can see a phone in a phone app. So let's go out to see to see again this uh, neat little animation. So you can see day theme, night theme, boom. And let's turn this on and you see what it does. Now we are in night mode. So you can see that everything now is dark. You have gray, um, a contrast of gray, like let's say a color to see the categories. So that looks really, really nice. Also the quick uh, the notification panel is now in a dark mode. So that looks just awesome. I love this dark mode and that's what I'm using most of the time because also your notifications are in this grayish look, not completely dark, but in a grayish look. And it looks just awesome. Samsung has to optimize some apps here and there because some apps are white or the notification of some apps are white. For example, of the stock weather app, that's just really bad because it's the Samsung weather app. Samsung, please update this app. And also the uh, notification of YouTube videos. I have set now scheduled YouTube notification because I'm so, so, so annoyed about this white YouTube notification. They, they just mess everything up with this beautiful dark mode. Of course, in stock Samsung apps, we have a dark mode like in the dialer app, in messages app, in Samsung internet, in the email app, and also in apps like gallery, but in gallery, this is always default. So this is always the default uh, theme. Also calculator is always in dark. I don't know why, but maybe they will update this. Samsung note also changes between white and dark. The calendar app does the same. Clock is like the, the gallery and calculator app is stays also always in dark. I don't know why Samsung has to update maybe these apps. And what do we have else? Um, yeah, we have the My Files app. It's also dark. The voice recorder is white, for example. So this is a little bit inconsistent. But you can see, again, my error. I have not updated this app because I didn't use it since I have Pi installed here. So uh, let's quickly install this. So yeah, now it's installed. Let's launch it again. What? Why? Why is it still not dark? Okay, that's weird. But uh, maybe let's close it and open it again. Okay, that was not my fault. So yeah. You see, this is a little bit inconsistent in some apps. So some apps stay always dark and this one stays always white. Okay. Um, which app? Okay, the video app is dark now. And what do we have else? Samsung Pass. So I will now not log in, but you can see it's a dark theme here. Yeah. Um, Samsung Cloud is also dark now in the dark mode which matches everything. But Samsung themes, for example, is also not in dark. But uh, of course, you can't use Samsung themes uh, yet here in the beta. So yeah, you can not schedule it. So even if it says uh, night mode, um, okay, in the beta before it says you can schedule it, but not yet, it will be added, I think, soon. 
but if you enable the devita options you can select a custom schedule for it so yeah that's it that was my video about the dark mode on the samsung galaxy s9 plus i hope you enjoyed this video if yes please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel more one ui beta videos are following soon so stay tuned. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section below. Have a fantastic day and I will see you around. Bye.